Hello guys, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be showing you a seller sprite and how it's going to be able to save you a lot of time. It's going to take away that hassle and how it's really going to revolutionize your selling experience on Amazon. Now, seller sprite has an awesome Chrome extension that you can download that's really, really going to help. But I'm going to kind of walk you through uh, with the site in itself. And if you want to try seller sprite, drop down to the description below. Click on the link and kind of follow along with me, download it, set up your account, do everything that you need to do. Very fast, very easy, just a few minutes, like three minutes to get everything set up and you're going to love it. All right, so Seller Sprite, they have not just the thing that I'm going to speak about today, which is the competitor lookup, but they have a plethora of tools. They have Add Insights, Keyword Explorer, you can check out the review analysis as well product research, you have uh, even a chance to save stuff on your product list. If you find a product that you want to kind of come back to later on, you can save it and come back, uh, which is really cool. Keyword mining, reverse ASIN. If you're not sure what ASIN is, it's uh, Amazon specific identity number. Uh, reverse multiple ASINs, you have a keyword checker, uh, all of these. And the pricing is very, very awesome as well. Uh, but let's take a look at the competitor lookup. Uh, you're just going to go to the products. Uh, when you go to the or I'm sorry, to the tools, if you click on tools, you'll be able to see all of these right here and you just click on that. Uh, and it's very easy. Now you have right here as well another competitor lookup, the product research, which puts everything in order for you as well. The market re keyword, ABA search terms, global brand database, storefront tracker. But since we're looking for the competitor lookup right here, you can choose the marketplaces. Like So uh, since I'm in the U.S. and I'm still in the U.S., uh, I will click here, but they have Japan, the UK, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Canada, India, all of these. And here we can check the time frame. So you can do it for like the past 30 days or you can go by month uh, through the year. Uh, even all the way up for, for example, since October of 2021. Uh, but I'm going to do the past 30 days. Now, there's a couple of words you can do. You can do it by keyword. So uh, it is recommended to use the extension for sales data instead of... Um, the web-based search to get the most current data but uh, i'm just going to show you here so you can do it by the keyword you can do it by the brand the seller and of course the more you, information you put in the more specific it will be uh, or you can just go to categories right so if you click on categories you come down let's say you want to do let's say cell phones and accessories those are always pretty hot you just click and then when you go to the right uh you can just say select category all right so select category and now we have here now the uh, now the category is cell phone accessories. Now we can say Samsung, for example, Samsung uh, and brand or whatever. Uh, let's say phone, uh, cell phone actually. So cell phone here, and then uh, we'll say Samsung, right? And then now we have this information. If you have the ASIN perfect or the product link, uh, you can just paste it here. Uh, if you know a seller, play, paste it there as well click search and it will search and now you have like the Samsung Galaxy and then if you click uh, on this as well and you can see the pictures uh, right here now you can what's really cool here too is you can export this data sorry this keeps getting in my way uh, but the you can export uh, to two, 2000 data except it is restricted but you can export it you can export the cells you can make a custom category if you're not really satisfied with the data sample on that as well uh, top 100 products under the category uh, you can do market research and add products to create the own custom category too so that's really cool and you can include other variations yes or no uh, it's up to you I'm just going to have uh, I'm going to click this for now for this and you can do units sold the BSR the price the latest rating uh, all of this information will be for you as well the growth metrics you can even go by and you can change it of ascending or descending whatever floats your boat Right, and even if you look here, you can see the sales trend for the last 30 days, right? Uh, or well, actually all of it, all of the time. Uh, if you're not quite sure how to use the sales trend, just click on or hover over the uh, quote, uh, the question mark and then it will give you more information. But you can check out the revenues for the 30 days of growth, the price, the gross margin, which is not available right now, the latest rating, uh, for that, which is 4.3, the date available for this information as well, and the fulfillment is not available, uh, but you can see it here. And if you want to add this to the product tracker, you want to track this specific product, click add the product tracker, and it will actually uh, track that for you as well. And you can come down and just check all of them to see, uh, really compare and see which ones 
uh, going to be best for your store or uh, what's really going to help you. This is how it's going to save you time just with the uh, competitor lookup. So uh, do this is, uh, to save you that time. You can see the BS list. You can view the best seller list on Amazon, the market analysis, and even find similar products on Alibaba if you use Alibaba. Uh, as well and uh, this is how it goes and now you can do comparison so uh, you can compare for example uh, this product uh, and let's say let's compare the first three for example uh, and then if I could do comparison for these three it's going to compare uh, those for me uh, so you can see that this one there's one that's not available right but it's comparing the two uh, giving in so the Samsung uh, which which of these three and you can just select here the product comparison for each one you can do sales revenue you can check out the price uh, as well how the prices the BSR uh, the ratings even for them which are pretty close uh, and the rating itself and the time frame and you can just change the time frame within a year and this is how you're going to really maximize everything uh, for you and you can just scroll back and make this bigger to to get a bigger time frame and that's how you can use the comparison with the customer lookup or the I'm sorry the competitor lookup so this is what's going to really revolutionize you can see in just about five minutes I've already explained to you how to use seller sprite how it's going to make you money how it's really going to save you the time too without just comparing the data by itself like looking at one and looking at the other and again, maybe you like that. Maybe you don't have enough time to do it online. Uh, for example, you can just export this information, download it. You can look, print it out if you want and, and compare it uh, this way later on. Maybe you're taking a flight somewhere and you just pull up your laptop and you have it and you're, you don't have the availability to be online. This is another way to do it. Uh, and this is how you're going to save money. Uh, even more importantly, what I think is... Of what really saves money is really saving the time that you have available for it. So jump into the description below, click on Seller Sprite, and go ahead and start with your your competitor lookup, and well, start selling. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video.